Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to live stream your lectures with the software Open Broadcaster software. Okay, so let's hop right into it. Um, a few items that you'll need is one, obviously your computer to, to stream out of. Two, uh, get yourself, uh, you, you don't need a professional mic like this, but a pair of headphones, right? And the trick is to get whatever mic you have as close to your mouth as possible. And then number three, you can probably use the inbuilt mic, uh, sorry, inbuilt web webcam on your uh, laptop computer. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm going to start with the software here. So we'll switch over uh, to Chrome and this is the software that you'll be looking at. So it's the Open Broadcaster Soft Studio. And uh, what the software does is it, it allows you to basically turn your computer into a uh, broadcast studio. So if you've seen the news or something like that, right, where you can switch around to like different screens, um, um, right, right and different, and different tricks that you can do. And then also uh, with uh, your webcam as full screen like that. So just to be able to do these fluent transitions, essentially. And then what's also cool about the software is that it allows you to output directly into uh, a streaming service like like YouTube um, and others or with a special plugin you can actually use this as a webcam source for um, your lectures or streams on on Skype on zoom so it'll just act like a with this output a regular webcam but with all the cool transitions so that's uh, that's the part about the software and what you need um, so it's available for Windows, it's available for, for Mac OS, it's available for, for Linux, okay? And uh, today we won't get into the technical details of how exactly you stream or record. Uh, there's tutorials on the internet for that um, in terms of uh, the, de the detailed settings. It could get a bit complicated, but uh, today what I did want to show you is how I set up my interface. Okay, so let's go into the uh, the full screen here. I'm gonna switch the screen capture. Ooh, nope. Let's not do that. <laughs> okay, so um, so this is the the screen capture here, and as you can see, this now I've transitioned to a desktop with this little picture in the corner here and you can move these things around which is really cool so they're just elements right so I'm moving the desktop around uh, I can move my face here around so you'll see oh right uh, and you can move um, uh, other things and elements as you see fit so what's actually cool about this as well is you can uh, set have different presets for your elements so for example the one I'm using right now is I'm using the uh, the preset called screen chat capture here okay and that's a preset I want in case I want to pop into PowerPoint and sh or show you exactly what's on my entire screen uh, there's uh, there's a few other presets for example um, this one I'll show you the intro to my ridecast right so you could have a neat little intro reel that you use to uh, to bring people into the, the live stream uh, let's hop over and see what's in there pretty cool huh and then now I'm back into the webcam which is a full screen view uh, I like to be able to show um, uh, things on the internet you know as I'm doing my live stream uh, so I do a split screen with Chrome here as well so this is just uh, Chrome but without the you see it I can move this around right so this is the the chrome but with the edges kind of cut off here so you get a, a full screen experience um, and then I also like to do a PDF right so sometimes I like to show you know for journal articles or something like that so this is a PDF uh, I'm doing research on bicycle design manual so that's something you know uh, that I can pull up or if you have your presentation for example in PDF format that's something that I have ready to go uh, and then I have a also a full screen version of Chrome, Chrome. So, I so I just put, put these, these white, white bars, bars around, around here, here right right so, so uh, if, you if you look at, at on your on screen, screen I'll just, I'll just move, move these, these white, white bars, bars around, around and kind of cover, cover up, up uh, part, part of it, it. And it gives, gives it a nice, nice symmetrical, symmetrical uh, look. look and and finally what the viewer bef on before is the screen capture right so this will capture the entirety of your screen 
And finally, I like to have a pause reel, right? So if you need to pause and go get a glass of water or, or something like that, right? You can just hop over here um, and I, I'm showing some images of, of cycling, which is which my audience really enjoys viewing. So that's something or that is good for me, but uh, you can use anything. So you can pick any video file, uh, preferably a file that's on your computer, and you can ask it to just keep playing in the background while uh, while you uh, kind of do your other things. And you can I can even turn on, let's say, the sound from this, right? Difficult to break instead of... And, turn off the sound and such. So there you go. Let's pop back into the webcam. I'll kind of show you how to set all of this up. Okay. So uh, the intro reel here, it's just a, um, the intro reel is just a, uh, a movie clip that that's, uh, that's playing. So it's, it'll be a video clip of, um, of something that you would like to play. And uh, in, in this case, it's um, I, I use it for the, the YouTube live stream. I do a countdown timer, but basically here, it's just a media source. And um, sorry, I, I just realized I can't actually switch between the, the different settings as I'm showing you this. Um, so let me just take, in that case, let me just take one of, uh, one of these examples, uh, which is the set scene preset we are on now and just show you how you can add different elements okay so um so right now for this set i have my webcam which is the the canon m50 here which uh is the capture device and then i have my display capture which is the uh the entirety of the screen okay so let's say we want to add something to this environment let's go ahead and click this plus button and we have our different choices let's say we want to add um a window capture is probably something that you would want so a window capture captures a window that's currently open um, and let's say I want uh, a browser right so now I'm going to add existing and use um, Chrome no cursor so that you can choose when you add this whether you want the mouse uh, to actually show up and boom right that's it and then from here you can actually do your resizing very well so here uh, I can do resize this to half my screen. I can make my video a bit bigger here, right? And then this looks a lot similar to the, sorry about this. This looks a lot similar to the display that, that you were seeing uh, before with the split screen, right? And you can move all these elements around. Um, something that I also find useful is um, being able to look at how we can use the audio interface. So let me take this away by, uh, let's bring you over here. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to take this away. You right click on the, the element and you just tell it to uh, remove, right uh, here. And I'll press delete on that, are you sure? Yes, and boom, it's, uh, oh, sorry, it did the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, let me get that back. Um, Okay, going back into display capture, add exist, add new, okay. Okay, we are back, correct? Great. Actually, that's a good good way to show. Uh, I just deleted the wrong one, so what I actually want to delete is the Chrome one here. Yes, remove, okay. Okay, and we are back, perfect. So, um, and here you have the layering. So if you move the different elements to the top, then you have the camera now layered on top of the, the desktop view. Uh, if you move this element to the bottom, you then have your camera to the bottom, right? So um, let's, Let's move this around here, right? So now your camera is covered up. If we move this up, then your camera reappears. Um, and that's pretty much the, the main things that you would want to cover is the, the window capture and uh, 
be it your PDF software, which is Adobe or your Chrome or, or a Safari if you're a Mac user. Uh, another thing that you'd want to do is to look at your audio, right? So uh, the audio here, you have a few options. Um, you have your, your desktop audio, which is probably you'll get is the sound that's coming out of um, any of your browser windows. So any sound that's coming out of your computer. Uh, for example, uh, if I play this YouTube video, right, of of me live streaming, uh, you'll hear the sound. Like With this, this vehicle, you have right? various you dimensions to control the and sound on or off, right? So now the YouTube video and, is gone. And three meters wide. How do we design a, a road around these so, dimensions? Um, so that's right. That's, uh, uh, and so actually, play play with, and of course, if you want to mute yourself uh, as you're talking, then uh, you can always shut off your own microphone. I'm not talking, and now I'm back. Um, so if you got kids at home or or some noise in the background, you can always do that. And I recommend that when you switch over to the pause screen, right, you also remember that um, either you can keep your mic running or you can uh, make sure you turn it off uh, when you get there. Okay, so that would just give you some privacy or some emergency out uh, if something happens. Uh, uh, great, great. Let, let us, us go, go back, back to, to uh, the split with Chrome. And I'll show you a few other things here, okay? So uh, with Chrome, uh, with a web browser, you can show different things. Uh, like I said, one option is like you could play a YouTube video, right? Uh, but you can also do, um, for example, uh, articles. Um, actually, these work pretty well, split screen. So if you really zoom in, then, then your, your students can actually read along with you. Um, and for example, searches, Scopus, if you want to look something up, especially if you're involved in the live chat situation. And uh, let us demonstrate how you would go about showing a presentation, for example, right? So let's go back to the, I like to use the screen capture function uh, to do a presentation, right? So now we're back to my screen. And what is cool about this is you can have your head here remaining I'm going to shrink myself a bit and then what you will see when you open up let's say uh, here it is like a PowerPoint right and when I turn this full screen so when I go to presentation mode my head will still stay in the corner uh, though all I will see is the full screen presentation okay let's give this a go and and turn this full screen Great, and now you have a talking head with uh, your presentation in the background. And for example, if I were to present um, a, a webinar, which uh, this is very useful for, then you have full control over whether you want uh, this view, which is uh, the presentation view, or if you want to, for example, show your face full screen. And we can go to different uh, slides here and and this is how you could bring something that it, your slide deck onto a online presentation. And when you exit, you can go back to a full screen of your webcam. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so also if you want to do your window, for example, your PowerPoint on one corner and you want to do, um, you're, you're talking in, in another corner, you can always set up like this, right? Which is what I like to do instead of the, the talking head in the corner. I think this is uh, much more useful like this. Um, but uh, then you could just format your slides so that it's it's vertical or a square. You know, you can do that in PowerPoint uh, instead of a uh, instead of a, a 16.9. So, so all these are, are quite interesting. Uh, and that was a brief introduction to using open broadcast software, right, uh, with uh, for your lectures. And to recap, right, what you need is uh, your laptop, uh, a headset with uh, with a mic built in. Uh, you don't want any feedback from your speakers. Uh, not sound really good. And then uh, setting up this display the way you like it, right? So setting up the various scenes before you hit broadcast. And then uh, if you're outputting to a stream, uh, here's start streaming on the right. Um, and if you're recording, there's also a option to record, uh, to stop and start recording directly to your computer. That way you can just uh, save it and then upload it to a format such, sorry, uh, 
uh, one of your school's uh, software platforms, Canvas um, and, and others, so that only your students can see the lecture. So I hope this has been very helpful for you. And uh, this has definitely been helpful for me. It's um, the, the origin of this software is actually from the, the PC gaming community. There's a lot of gamers who, who stream you know, games and, and like to talk to each other and stuff. Uh, and this is something that we can definitely appropriate from uh, other fields. And this is completely open source, completely free uh, for our own teaching purposes. And hopefully you will be taking your teaching to the next level. And uh, leave me a comment or, or get in touch if you have any questions about this. Uh, let me know if there's other details that you want to know about. Um, as for the, the settings here, uh, for example, if you go to uh, File settings there's a lot of different technical stuff most of the stuff you don't need uh, but uh, but there's all sorts of YouTube uh, tutorials probably way better than I can do on how to link it to YouTube how to then use a plugin to output it to Skype uh, and then what kind of you know what kind of recording quality you'd want to do and how what kind of format you want to save it as right and those can then uh, really if you save it directly to uh, the format that can be uploaded to your platform, then you can save a lot of time, right? So I'm recording this in the streaming software and uploading this for later. Um, and uh, what's magic about this, is I can do this as many times as I want if I'm recording it. And there's no post-processing, right? So all the editing, all the cuts have already been done in the software. So uh, let me sign off by showing you a bit more about Amsterdam. And hopefully this has been helpful and see you next time.